Employees of the Kapamilya Network are now digesting the news for today. Some, if not all, are worried about their future considering the impact of the network shutdown on their jobs. Ryan Ah reports to us live in Quezon City from the ABS-CBN newsroom. Ryan, what's going on? Sean, it was a devastating day for the employees of ABS-CBN to say the least. That's after Congress voted to reject any hopes of renewing their franchise. People at the ABS-CBN newsroom were fixed to their screens, anxious for the decision on the fate of their network. Nemosini Dalawis, an ABS-CBN news staff, got emotional after hearing the news. She said that her family's future is now at stake. She has this to say. Siyempre, natatakot ka. Magiging isa ka na si Jobless. Malungkot kasi minahal mo itong kumpanya na 24 years, tapos mawawala na lang ng ganun. Senator Bato de la Rosa in a Zoom interview advised employees like Namusini to look for other opportunities. Nemosini can't help but be angered. Others at the newsroom were clearly just as emotional as Nemosini. Some could be seen comforting others who were already heavy in tears beneath their face mask. But even with a heavy heart, it's still back to work for most of them, especially those working in the news department. Before the crucial decision was out, ABS-CBN News Chief Jing Reyes also thanked all the media outlets who have lent their support and had been actively covering their franchise battle. Uh, hindi kami sanay na kami ay nasa balita. Uh, ayaw namin na kami ang maging sentro ng news o issue. Pero sa palagay ko naman, uh, di nyo rin ito maiiwasan. So salamat sa inyo, sa pagsuporta nyo, sa pagbabantay ninyo sa balitang ito kasabay namin. Sean, ABS-CBN employees, artists, and supporters are set to hold a vigil outside the ABS-CBN compound in Sardis Esquerra Avenue for what has happened to the network's franchise. Sean. Thank you very much for that update from ABS-CBN's newsroom. That was Ryan Ang.